One of the obesity articles I came across by Coney Anderson is interesting in terms of some shocking results of surveys he mentions. In particular, he refers to a survey among five years old children who said they would rather lose an arm than be fat. It is rather disturbing to know that our society has placed such an enormous stigma on being overweight and yet we do not seem to be making progress in reducing obesity. We should be less concerned about looks and more concerned about health. We need to move away from the often unattainable digitally altered perfect models we see on the covers of glossy magazines and start focusing on a more balanced measurement of health. Especially considering the fact that there are several different body types and we cannot just apply one measure to all. We need to measure our BMI, body mass index, our body fat and key areas of the body such as waistline, hips, chest, thighs and biceps. For instance a quick measure for men is the waistline across your navel. If your waist exceeds 103 centimeters, you are classified as obese. To measure body mass index, you can find a calculator online. Obese people suffer from more health problems than poor people, daily smokers and heavy drinkers. Obesity articles are focusing more and more on the cost of providing medical care to obese patients. Government health awareness campaigns up to the present have focused almost exclusively on the dangers of drinking and smoking. The USA First Lady Michelle Obama is to be applauded for recognizing the dangers of the growing threat obesity presence to our health and we can only hope that other governments will follow this example. In the USA alone, obesity statistics show an increase of 50% in the last 30 years. In countries like Australia, South Africa and many more mostly Western nations the statistics are just as scary. Perhaps, it is time we stop waiting for our governments to respond to the many obesity articles being written now and take control of our own lives. If obesity has become a bigger danger to our health than smoking or drinking, let's do something about it. It is no coincidence that the obesity epidemic has occurred in the same era that fast food and fizzy sodas became part of our diets. Therein lies the obesity solution. Believe me, it is a simple recipe. Reduce or eliminate fast food and sodas, add 5 servings of fruit and vegetables daily with a 40-40-20 split of protein, carbs, fats. For best results, add 8 glasses of water and exercise at least 3 times per week. Make 6 small meals per day to speed up the metabolism and soon the mirror will reflect the new slimmer, healthier and fitter you. If you have benefited from this video, immediately hit the subscribe button and bell notification now for your next inspiring video. If you would like to lose weight, click the link in the description below to learn more.